Sometimes people will be so invested in some kind of a belief that they'll make it true even when it's false. And that's what some people say happened with Jesus. There was a band of followers following this real Jesus. They thought he was going to be great. They thought he was going to save them. He died. That ruined it. How are we going to make it true after all? We'll make a resurrection. That'll work. Now, Others will add another piece to this, which is that the story of Jesus was produced by something like the party game, the telephone game, where people whisper something into the next person's ear and the next person's ear. And by the time it comes around to the original, it is uh, grossly changed and distorted. But these are both highly distorting kinds of processes. In fact, cognitive dissonance reduction in this case would mean they're they're actually kind of crazy, making up something totally false in order to save their, their, their psyches. Well, does that fit with the story of Jesus? Probably not. In fact, I would say definitely not in view of one aspect, at least of his character, that even skeptics ought to agree on. And that is his unique, other-centered, self-sacrificial goodness. Now, what makes that unique? Um, well, you can make a story about someone who's very self-sacrificial and very good, but no one's made a story like Jesus. Not Shakespeare, not Goethe, not Dostoevsky, not Dickens, not Faulkner. No one's made a story like the story of Jesus in which you have a really incredibly powerful person who was also incredibly other-centered, self-sacrificial and giving. It just doesn't exist. All the powerful people in literature all the powerful people in history have got some element of flaw to them. They've got some, some element of, of doing it for themselves to some degree or other. Abraham Lincoln said, nearly all men can stand adversity, but if you want to test a man's character, give him power. Or Lord Acton, even more famously, said, power tends to corrupt and absolute power corrupts absolutely. And you don't find You don't find interesting stories in particular about people who are really, really powerful and really, really good. Jesus was incredibly powerful according to the story and he was incredibly self-sacrificial and giving according to the story. There is no other story like it. There is no story where someone has the kind of power that Jesus has or anything close to it and never uses it for his own benefit. Even Superman used his heat vision to warm up his coffee. Jesus came not to be served, but to serve and to give his life a ransom for many. Mark 10, 45. This is unique in all of literature, certainly unique in all of history. No one's come up with a story like that, except except for a band of uh, followers who were really crushed and really disappointed and kind of crazy and wanted to make make up a story and used the telephone game, a highly distorting thing, and they came up with the only ethically perfect uh, self-sacrificial character in all of literature? I don't think so. I don't think the backstory that the skeptics propose it's the story that we read in the Gospels. Oh, and by the way, four Gospels. Not only did it come out with Jesus being ethically perfect once, but it happened. It landed four different places. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Uh, obviously inter- interrelated, but still separate stories. Either any one of them could have messed it up, but they didn't. Any one of them could have ruined it, but they didn't. They, it came out perfect in every case. This doesn't happen through distorting processes. It only happens through reality. It could only happen if Jesus was who they wrote he was. It could only happen if the story was true. The story of Jesus is just too good to be false.